the Fox 44 weather forecast with Weather Rate certified meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick. Well, another warm day on tap for Central Texas. I feel like I come on here every single day and say that because that's really been the trend over the last uh, several days, and that's going to continue to be the trend as we head into this weekend, even into uh, next week as well. Looking outside of our uh, live centric seamless gutter sky tracker out in Colleen, on top of the uh, rooftop of the one Colleen Center. We're seeing some mostly clear skies right now. That sun over the horizon making for a very pretty picture. Not really the same in Temple. We're seeing a little bit more cloud cover out there, but again, this is on top of the Kyle building in downtown Temple brought to you by Live Syntex Seamless Gutters. We're going to keep these mostly clear to partly cloudy skies in the forecast until we get to around midnight tonight and then we're going to watch that cloud cover start to increase. But temperatures have been pretty much behaving all day. Very warm out there. We're starting to drop back into those mid 70s across the area. A lot of 75s on the board from uh, Mejia down to Waco into Gatesville. Uh, 75 also down in Hearn as well as in Temple. 74 over in Colleen. And we're going to stay pretty warm tonight as well. We do have southerly winds, obviously out of the south, anywhere between uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour, some gusting to 20, possibly 25 miles per hour. This is a three hour average, so 24 hours or 24 miles per hour has been really uh, the target for us here in Waco over the last several or se last several hours, I should say. And with that, we are seeing a risk for some fire weather as, as well, mainly just west of I-35 where the relative humidity uh, levels drop down into the 30s and some of us even in the 20s, like down in Brownwood, we're seeing relative humidity percentages of 26%. So definitely no uh, uh, roasting chestnuts on an open fire. Is that right? I think that's the I think that's the song. So don't have any fire outdoors, most definitely, especially if you're going to be west of I-35 or anywhere like that tonight, even into tomorrow as well. We're going to keep that fire threat going until tomorrow afternoon. But satellite loop showing just a few cloud covers just starting to make its way into uh, the region. But again, we're going to be mostly clear up until around midnight tonight, and it looks to be very nice weather for Santa to come in town. That is for sure. By 7 o'clock tonight, those temperatures are going to fall back into those upper 60s. A little bit of cloud cover is going to start to move in by around midnight tonight, but temperatures just hanging around in the low to mid 60s, and that's going to really be the trend up until around 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Again, mainly east of I-35 going to be under a blanket of cloud cover, but west of I-35, a bit Bit cooler, so those temperatures are going to drop overnight only into the mid to upper 50s. So, not too much of a temperature difference. Still going to be relatively warm out there. As we get towards the noon hour on your Christmas Day, temperatures are going to be very warm in the upper 70s and lower 80s. We look to all top out around the uh, low to mid 80s for most of tomorrow. By 3 o'clock is when we're going to see our uh, high temperature for the day. A lot of sunshine in place, so definitely if you have any outdoor plans for Christmas Day, keep them in check because uh, it's going to be very nice out there, most definitely. As we head into Saturday night into Sunday morning, we're going to watch that cloud cover start to increase again from the south. That's going to bring in temperatures uh, right around the low to mid 60s for overnight lows on Sunday. And again, as we go about our day on Sunday, that cloud cover is going to diminish. That's really going to be the, uh, the main stories we head towards uh, next week as well. We're going to watch those clouds increase in the morning, and then it's going to bypass in the afternoon, bringing in some very warm temperatures. Uh, on Sunday, we're looking at temperatures in the mid-70s, some of us even in the upper 70s as well. will drop back down into those lower 70s by around 5 o'clock when the sun starts to go down. 62 degrees tonight for the overnight low. An increase in cloud cover again around after midnight. We're going to keep those breezy conditions in check with winds out of the south around 10 to 20 miles per hour and some gusting possibly to 35 miles per hour. Tomorrow, very warm. We're talking about uh, temperatures about 20 to 25 degrees above average for this time of year, becoming sunny in the afternoon. Looks to be a very nice day for Christmas Day. Definitely doesn't feel like Christmas, that's for sure. I keep saying we're going to see a warm Christmas, but not a white one, unfortunately. And we are going to uh, break that high temperature record that we saw back in 2016 of 79 degrees. Uh, we're totally going to throw that off the board. As we head towards the later half of the weekend, even into next week, again, this is your Waco Mattress Center long-range 10-day forecast. Those temperatures are going to be above average in the upper 70s and lower 80s. We're going to watch the system start to move through here by midweek towards the new year we could see a little bit of rain in the forecast but of course that's well over a week away so we will have to tweak the forecast once we get there but we are watching another cold front start to move through by next weekend overnight lows for us are going to be mainly in the 50s and 60s Bryan College Station 80 degrees for the high temperature with a lot of sunshine above average temperatures as well in the upper uh, upper 70s and lower 80s before that system moves through by next weekend overnight lows in the 50s and 60s